remember when I was an African American. First African American to be commissioned in special operations, Marine Corps. People expect a lot out of me. They put a lot of faith in me. Even when I had been turned down for a commission before, they gave me a commission. I had, didn't have a degree, never went to OCS or basic school. OCS is officer's candidate school. But when they needed me, even with all the hard times I had, challenges, when they needed me, I didn't say no. I stepped up. But also knew when they commissioned me, there would be hopefully many others coming behind me. I couldn't disappoint them. So when I was in trouble, what would the Marine Corps say if they give a young black man a commission and he's in the middle of battle and he fails? What does that mean for the other kids coming behind me? Now we got admirals and generals and young African-Americans, men and women, because they got an opportunity, like I got an opportunity. I didn't have the opportunity that they had. I'm not sure if I even wanted it. But when they give me the commission, and now I'm in the middle of battle, men are depending on me. And had I failed, hundreds of men would have died. But I said, I'm going to stay in the battle. I could have evacuated my troops. My mission was done. It's the last day. We'll go home. But what about this battalion out there? What about that mission? What do I say if I say I'm taking my men out and a thousand men die because I'm not their eyes and ears anymore? And the first thing you'll say that, well, we knew those African-Americans, you know, one reason we didn't want them in there because they couldn't handle it. Well, I did handle it, but I thought about it briefly. I can't fail. That kept me, as I was bleeding, we could have got out earlier. But what do you say? So you have, you subconsciously you think about those things. And the question is, did I make a, a decision to call in artillery on my position? We were in bad shape. So I called in artillery on my position because I knew where it was on the map. We were in close quarters and I wasn't quite sure exactly where I was or what was around us. So I called in artillery on the position where I knew exactly where I was. And I knew that artillery would give you about 100 meters grace. They would normally drop it right on your position. They would normally walk it back to where you are. But where I knew I was, either they're going to kill us out here or the rounds will kill us. I called artillery on my position because I knew that they would ordinarily give us about 100 meters. And they did that. And that give us a, some breathing room. They backed off. But did I make a conscious decision to call in artillery? Well, they said, well, if you were wounded and you were losing blood, and you, I was unconscious for a moment or two, I don't know how long, but, you know, when the mine went off, I wasn't in too good shape. It knocked me down, and I was trying to reassess my position. I could hear my guy screaming and all this stuff going on around me. But the investigators asked me, did I make a conscious decision to make that decision to stay out and stay in the fight? Yes, I did make a conscious decision.